Okay, this is a uh, really basic how to use art cam. Okay, first you can go to file news, and then you can set the area, the new model that you need. So this one we're gonna set 300 and 300, and then this is go by millimeter. Okay, metric, and click OK, and then you can see there are many features that you can draw in art cam circle polyline and so so let's try a basic one okay rectangle so you can just draw a rectangle and then you can change whatever the size here and the position anyway we're gonna just leave it there so create it okay after you create just close it okay and then now we have thing to to cut or engrave okay then we just go to two pad and then you can see that um, there's also many that you can do. Here we're gonna do just per profile, okay? Or you later you can do an area key around it. So so you can just try this one first, and then you can do 3D too in the later on, okay? So 2D. Um. Then now let's see. See the start depth you can set at zero, and then we're gonna cut the outside here of the line so it's just gonna go outside here you can also cut inside or whatever you choose it's okay okay and then the depth finished depth is uh, let's say we're gonna cut about one millimeter so negative one that's it see negative one and then now the important is you set the tool tooling right so you just select and then there are so many tools that you can select so which tool are you going to use okay so this one let's say three millimeter tool this one you can also chain too you can go edit and see that so what 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 this say is diameter three millimeter and every time it step down the maximum is nine millimeter this one we cut you can see one millimeter so one one time you're just gonna cut right away if you say you go negative 12 then that mean it's two time first time is go nine second time is go three so make it 12 right so let's say that the, okay we just leave it there okay some people reduce that less so the two won't break okay and then also the speed the spindle speed this is uh, 15,000 <coughs> and then the feed rate okay we just gonna leave as uh, 105 millimeter per second pound rate pound rate you know it's going down it must be a little bit slow so 42 okay so we okay so we select 3 millimeter here we go and then material next we go material the rest feature you can just play around with it it's pretty straightforward yeah. um, see material let's say we have material here about 20 millimeter okay and then uh, you can set as a zero for your for for your material is it on top or on the bottom we just can set it on top so it's go down one millimeter right there see and then that's it it's okay and then you just have to name the two pad let's here you just go AA and then just do it now we already select that one so just click okay now so you select then you already create two pad you can close it and now you can see it's already come here after you close right and then you can just uh, simulate it simulate two pad and you can see the, t the two just go there and then do one round finish right you can also do simulate faster there see you can zoom in by using a middle of the mouse and then use a view in out in out or you can use a left mouse just turn around see easy so now after you finish this what you do you save the two pad and then you can pick the sim best one for the NC studio so just here XYZ and C and then just save it okay let's save in the desktop and this one just you know whatever name BB okay and then save it and now we can check in the desktop you can see here go my BB open it 
use WordPad or Pen Notepad, whatever. And for the NC Studio, you just don't need this code in the beginning for the home because NC Studio don't need those, you know. So you just can leave it until you can see X, Y, zero, and then you see S is for the window fifteen thousand M three. Close it there, and then you can see they will uh, the machine will go G zero is rapid, right? And here is just a number of the line. Okay, just they go rapid to X zero Y zero, and then they start the spindle at uh, fifteen thousand RPM at M three, and then just go <coughs> just go X seventy nine. You know, at the point you can see at the point here is a uh, X seventy nine because uh, and then Y one forty six. You know, and C at the top. You know. 41 and then because we set <coughs> and then set uh, this one gonna go down to the material now to see uh, negative one okay mm. and then it's gonna engrave it cut it It, it. And then at the end, you also don't need this line, this whole line, one, two, three, four, and then just go back to C41, just go up, it's actually it's quite high, but it's okay if you don't set the C that too high on that, you know, this one, actually you can just chain first to be mm, pen only is okay too you see you can modify this thing and then after they finish cut here position is can just go pen up and then it's go back to x0 y0 that's it and then just save this you know save this here and then just use this plug into NC Studio and it should run the rectangle pretty basic and you, you can do a much more complicated um, work too okay that's it thank you